Another day, another book. The difficulty of being good is a philosophical and literary exploration of the concept of dharma or moral duty, in the Indian epic the Mahabharata, written by Gurcharan Das, an Indian author, commentator and former CEO of Procter & Gamble India. The book delves into the complex and ambiguous moral landscape of the epic, examining the choices made by its characters and the implications of those choices for their lives and the world around them. The Mahabharata, one of the longest and most complex works of literature in the world, is a vast tapestry of stories, fables, and philosophical musings, woven around the central narrative of a dynastic struggle between two branches of a royal family. The epic is a rich source of insights into Indian culture, society, and values, and has been the subject of countless interpretations and adaptations over the centuries. In The Difficulty of Being Good, Gurcharan Das takes up the challenge of interpreting the Mahabharata's moral lessons for the contemporary world. He approaches the epic not as a religious text, but as a work of literature that offers profound and timeless insights into the human condition. Through a series of close readings of key episodes in the epic, he examines the ethical dilemmas faced by its characters and the various ways in which they try to resolve them. Das begins his exploration by setting the stage, giving the reader an overview of the epic and its central conflict. He introduces the main characters and their relationships, and outlines the various ethical frameworks that are at play in the story. He then goes on to examine specific episodes in the epic, each of which presents a different moral challenge for its characters. One of the key themes that emerges in the book is the idea of dharma, or moral duty. Dharma is a complex and multifaceted concept in Indian philosophy, and Das unpacks its various dimensions in relation to the Mahabharata. He shows how Dharma is not a fixed or absolute concept, but rather a dynamic and evolving one that is shaped by social, cultural, and historical factors. He explores the tensions between individual and social Dharma, and the challenges of reconciling personal values with the demands of the greater good. Another major theme in the book is the idea of choice and consequence. Das highlights the fact that the Mahabharata is a story of choices, and that every action taken by its characters has far-reaching consequences, both for themselves and for the world around them. He explores the moral complexity of the choices made by characters such as Arjuna, Draupadi, and Karna, and the ways in which those choices reflect their character and values. He also examines the role of fate and destiny in the epic, and the ways in which characters try to resist or accept their predetermined paths. Throughout the book, Das draws on a wide range of sources, from Indian philosophy and literature to Western philosophy and psychology. He brings together insights from thinkers such as Aristotle, Nietzsche, and Freud to illuminate the moral dilemmas faced by the characters in the Mahabharata. He also draws on his own experiences and observations as an Indian citizen, reflecting on the relevance of the epic's lessons for contemporary India. One of the key strengths of the book is its nuanced and multifaceted approach to the Mahabharata. Das does not present a single, definitive interpretation of the epic, but rather offers a series of insights and perspectives that are grounded in the text itself. He avoids simplistic moralizing or reductionism, and instead embraces the complexity and ambiguity of the epic's moral landscape. Another strength of the book is its accessibility. Despite the complexity of the subject matter, Das writes in a clear and engaging style that makes the book accessible to a wide audience. He avoids jargon and technical language, and instead uses vivid examples and analogies to illustrate his points. He also includes helpful summaries at the end of each chapter, which make it easy for readers to follow the narrative and understand the key ideas. One of the most compelling aspects of the book is the way in which Das humanizes the characters in the Mahabharata. He brings them to life as complex and flawed individuals, rather than one-dimensional archetypes. He shows how each character is shaped by their past experiences, their social status, and their cultural values, and how these factors influence their choices and actions. By doing so, he encourages readers to empathize with the characters and to see their own struggles and dilemmas reflected in the epic. Overall, the difficulty of being good is a rich and thought-provoking exploration of the moral landscape of the Mahabharata. Through his careful analysis and nuanced insights, Burchurin Das illuminates the complex and sometimes contradictory values that underpin the epic's vision of the good life. He shows how the epic's lessons are relevant not only to ancient Indian society, but to the contemporary world as well. The book is a must-read for anyone interested in philosophy, literature, or Indian culture 
and will reward readers with a deep and lasting appreciation for the Mahabharata's timeless wisdom. Thanks for watching.